up? Krista here with Books and Jams, and Middle Grade March is finally here. I'm so excited. I have been waiting for weeks for March 1st to arrive, and here we are at the beginning of the month, and I have a load of middle grade books that I want to read this month. I actually have an official TBR, but if you can look behind me, these are the rest of the books that I'm hoping to read or choose from anyway. But first, I do have one non-middle grade book that I will be reading during the month of March. And that is the book for my Goodreads book club, which is called Books and Jams Read Along. And in the month of March, we are going to be reading Jane Steele by Lindsay Fay. I'm very excited to finally get to this book. It's sort of a Jane Eyre retelling. However, it has one major difference. And that is that Jane Steele, our main character in this book, is a serial character killer. <laughs> so I don't know how that is all going to play out. All I know is that I've heard so much about this book on booktube. It has been many, many people's top books of the year when it first came out a couple years ago. So many people have really loved it. I've heard some mixed things, but I'm very excited to read it along with those of you who joined me in my Goodreads group. Now, for the month of March, I have given myself an insane challenge which I'm kind of holding on to lightly, but I am really hoping to finish a book a day during the month of March. I don't know if this is gonna be possible. I don't, I can't foresee what's gonna happen this month if things are gonna come up that I won't be able to do this. But because the majority of my reading this month is gonna be middle grade, many of them are short, all of them will be pretty quick reads, and I'm hoping to try this and just see what happens. But I do have a pile of six books here that are my official TBR because we do have some challenges to go along with our readathon. Oh yeah. In case you don't know, I'm hosting Middle Grade March with Katie from the channel Life Between Words. If you haven't checked out her channel, you totally should. But we are challenging everybody to just pick up middle grade books. You can even just pick up one middle grade book and you'll be participating in Middle Grade March. We just want to challenge and inspire people to pick up middle grade books. Maybe it's been since you were a kid that you've read a middle grade or maybe you read them all the time. Either way, we would love for you to join us in Middle Grade March. We do have five challenges, like I said, that will hopefully inspire your reading throughout the month. And we will be reading one book kind of together and talking about it live on Instagram at the end of the month. And this book fits the challenge for me of an award winner. And that is The Girl Who Drank the Moon by Kelly Barnhill. In this book, there's a village that every year they give, sacrifice a baby to the witch that lives in the woods outside of their village. They think they're doing it to protect their village. However, the witch that lives in the woods doesn't understand why she keeps finding these babies there. But she feeds these babies starlight and then finds them new homes in different villages. However, one year she accidentally feeds one of the babies moonlight instead of starlight and that has some interesting consequences. So I'm really excited to read this book together with many of you and then talk about it at the end of the month on Instagram Live. So this is my award-winning middle grade. One of the other categories is a book to movie adaptation and for that I will be finally reading Howl's Moving Castle by Diana Wynne Jones. I have heard so much praise for this book and I've been very excited to read it. I believe it's about this girl named Sophie who's the oldest in her family and she somehow gets a witch mad at her and the witch curses her with old age. And in order to break the curse, she needs to find the wizard who lives in the moving castle. I could be a little bit wrong about that, but that's what I think is the main gist of this one. And so I'm excited to read this and also borrow the movie from the library and watch it as well. The third challenge is to read a classic. And for that, I'm going to be reading The Secret Garden by Frances Hodgson Burnett. I may have read this when I was younger, but I really honestly don't remember. I do remember the story because I have seen the movie adaptation quite a few times. And this is the story about a young girl named Mary Lennox whose parents die in India from a cholera epidemic and she is sent to live with her, her extended family, an aunt and an uncle. She's very bitter and grieving and cranky and mean, but throughout the course of the story and meeting different people that work at her aunt and uncle's estate. She finds a garden that she helps to bring back to life and all of those things help to change her personality 
and help her to see life in new ways. And I'm very, very excited to read this book. The fourth challenge is to read a childhood favorite. And you will have seen this book in my Friday Five about books I want to reread this year. And that is The Twits by Roald Dahl. This is a story about this couple who are both wonderfully horrid and wonderfully fun. I read this book over and over and over and over when I was a kid and it's super short which will be perfect for my book a day challenge. I'm very excited to reread The Twits. I think I was probably about 11 or 12 the last time I read it so this will be a lot of fun and very nostalgic for me. The fifth challenge is to read a book that has some diversity in it of any sort. And for that, I have chosen The War That Saved My Life by Kimberly Brewbaker, Brewbaker Bradley. That is a tongue twister of a last name. This book has been highly recommended to me. Even outside of booktube, I was talking to a librarian at a book sale that I went to and she just raved about this book. This is the story about a young girl named Ada during World War II and she lives with her very cruel mother. Her little brother is sent away to escape the London during the war and Ada escapes to join him. Somehow the two of them end up at the home of Susan Smith, a woman who lives on her own on a farm. Somehow they end up there and Ada teaches herself how to ride a horse and help out around the farm and begins to slowly open her heart to Susan and Susan's heart is open to Ada. It just, it's sort of a found family, World War II, about a young girl who has a crippled leg. I've heard such wonderful, wonderful things about it. The sixth middle grade that I most definitely will be reading in March is uh, Wrinkle in Time by Madeline Langle. This may look familiar because it was on my February TBR, but I didn't get to it. So I will be reading this pretty quickly in the month of March so that I can go and see the movie. And I will be reading this along with Jess and Christina from Game of Tomes and I believe some other people from their In Real Life book club. They're letting me bust in on that Voxer buddy read and I appreciate that because I've heard that this one is very, very strange and some people love it and some people don't. I don't typically get along with strange books so I'm not sure how it's gonna go. I'm hoping that being able to talk about it with other people will help me to enjoy it a little bit more. So here's my official TBR for the month. But again, I'm really hoping to read a book a day. I'm debating about how I'm gonna keep you up to date of how that's going. I may put my Friday Five videos on hold for the month of March and use those Fridays to update you on how I'm doing so that I don't have 31 books to talk about at the end of the month. But any of these are up for grabs. Some of them are books from my shelves, which will be very good. And some of them are books I have out from the library currently. I may do a separate video showing you those books that I have out from the library, but these will definitely get read and the rest are just maybes. I would love to chat with you down below if you have read any of the ones that I have mentioned or if you are participating in Middle Grade March. Again, I would love to hear that. And I'll be talking to you a lot more about Middle Grade books this month so I hope you stick around. Give this video a big thumbs up if you liked it and subscribe for more of my face. <laughs> I'll be talking to you soon in another video very soon. Bye!